I like to write. It's a way that I express myself and that God speaks to me. Um, so I was at a writer's conference about five years ago, and we broke out in groups, and each group got a picture. And the picture that my group got was this picture right here. And the assignment was look at the picture and without even thinking about it, just start writing whatever you feel like God is telling you about the picture. And so um, I did that. I looked at the picture. I didn't even think about it. I just started writing. And what God had me write was this home right here is your comfort zone. And inside there is no light inside. It's dark. And so I need you to step outside of your comfort zone because then you can see all these beautiful things that I have for you and what I've created for you. And so I wrote it and it wasn't the message I wanted at that time because I, I really wanted something relaxing and calming and peaceful um, to come from it. But I knew that was a message that I needed to hear. And so after... Um, after writing that and the class was over, I went up to the teacher and I said, I told her what I had written and I said, can I have that picture just as a reminder because I know I'm going to need it. And so she gave it to me and now I have it up in my bathroom. I have a vision board of different things um, that motivate, inspire me, encourage me, goals, all that stuff. And this is on there. And so um, there's a couple different things that I've learned about stepping outside of your comfort zone. The main thing is your identity. Like, God loves you. You're a child of God. You belong to Him. It's not about performance. Um, you're safe in His arms. The reason that you step out is for Him, is for love, is for um, ambition, is for joy. Um, so getting that perspective. Um, so a couple examples of stepping out of the comfort zone for me has been I knew I needed to take a self-defense class. Um, that's not comfortable. I, I didn't want to. But I found the place. God led me to where to go. And I kept looking. And that kept reminding me, okay, you know, step outside. So that wasn't as easy for me. But, I, but doing that, I learned a lot of knowledge and the things that I needed. And I could see the goodness and the strength in that. Recently, the comfort zone I've stepped outside of has been to start my own business. And that was a little bit different in that there wasn't a lot of fear to begin with. It was more I was already excited about what all would be involved in that. So I stepped out more in excitement. Um, the thing that the lesson God has been showing me with that is um, I have to keep thankfulness of what God has given me because otherwise I get stressed out and I start getting prideful or I start thinking my thing needs to look like this or I need to be this much further along old thoughts come back like you're not going to be able to do it you've never been successful you've always quit those thoughts start coming and so that's when Instead of the thoughts of the world, because I can be on social media and I can be watching TV shows of people that say this is what success is and this is when you've made it. Um, but that tends to be more comparison and then I tend to get out of focus to what God is actually saying to me on it. So I would encourage you to not be distracted by what is everybody else doing, but what has God given you and be thankful what he's given you. And... When you get to the place where you're holding on too tightly, you're, you have stress, there's pride there, there's maybe you've stopped loving people in the process, maybe you're tapping into old fears of how you've been in the past and you need to just, because for me I can feel when that starts happening because it's a process and we're human and then I just have to pray and I say, God, I know, like I'm stubborn and I'm holding on tight and I want to hold on tight and I feel like my freedom comes by how well I do at this thing and my identity. And then that's where he reminds me, you belong to me first. And, you know, it just softens my heart back up of what purpose really is. And, and success to him is your heart. It's not material items and all of those things. 
So I would just encourage you with that today. Um, step out of your comfort zone, but also know that God is holding you so tightly and he loves you and just ask him to clarify things for you that you're struggling with because he absolutely will. And one more thing is align yourself with people that are humble minded. For me, I'm very thankful for a husband who helps keep me in check. So if I'm struggling with something and I'm venting about it, he has compassion for me um, and he cares about me, but he still is saying, okay, well, what's your part? Like, are you getting too prideful or are you doing this or where's your connection with God right now? And so link with somebody that's humble that is, and multiple people that are humble. Jen is an awesome example. <laughs> a little shout out over there. <laughs> Punches a pink. <laughs> yeah. So link with those people and it's an amazing life and there's joy for you and I just speak that for you. In Jesus name. <laughs>